I didn't remember. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you know what, man? You're going to have to deal with a $500 television. This is going to look like a fucking crack den. Hello everyone, welcome back to Sims 4. Jumping in here for something completely different. Now in the last episode, I asked you guys what you wanted to see out of like a list of five things. And the thing that popped up the most was the rags to riches. So we're gonna start this series today. It's gonna be a rather shorter episode as we get the character together, start the house, and then as the episodes progress, we'll be going ahead and seeing if we can get this guy up to a reasonable wealth, I guess you could say. Uh, but nonetheless, we're still going to be doing our other stuff with the White family. That's going to actually be more often probably than this. Uh, this will be something that comes in between. But I really want to focus on the stuff that I've created with them, even though all of them have died at this point. So we're going to start uh, editing this guy. Honestly, not bad for just whatever this started as. I'm sure we could change these pants because those are just ridiculous. Um... Let's see what we could do here. Just some normal ass pants would be nice. And we can just throw on some shoes. I don't want to spend too much on making a sim when this series is going to be so strenuous as it is with having to make sure this guy is not matching at all. Having to make sure that we can get through it all. I just don't think these are matching either. I wonder if we could change the colors of these. There you go. Something a little darker. I think that looks good. Then the glasses probably. Change the glasses. How does we do that? It'd be nice if it showed you exactly what you were... Oh, these ones. Yeah, just some darker glasses would be better. And let's get rid of those fucking earrings and we'll be good. Where's the accessories? I think it's under this. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we're just picking a name right now. Like I said, I'm just kind of randomly generating this stuff. So that way it's easier and we could figure out more of what we're going to do with this actual series. Because I just don't know how much money we have. I usually just dump myself full of simoleons and then just kind of see how it goes from there. I have like a million fucking dollars. And that's great if you just want to build random shit. But it just doesn't work if uh, you're used to it like that. So Case in Hampton, that sounds good. Uh, let's do Animal Lover, I guess. Uh, active. Tonkupu. Uh, Creative. Uh, huh. I guess genius. That way he could figure out his life a little better. <laughs> Hopefully it makes it easier. You know what I mean? Okay, so I think we're good on that. Yeah, perfect. All right. Now we've got to figure out a plot of land. Uh, we have $20,000 to start with, uh, which honestly really is not that much at all. I. <laughs> that's... That is a, I think I, this was like a attempt of like a super small home. I'm not sure what I did there. Uh, let's see where we can go. That's not too crazy. I think that's where we were just at. This is where the restaurant's at. $2,000 for that, leaving us with 18,000. I don't know if I would want to, oh, that's my super tiny home. That's the actual home. 3,000. I don't want a super big lot. I might just live in Strangerville because I got super small areas out here. 4,500. Can I not kick someone out of their damn house? Okay, I guess it's not cheap in Strangerville. Was not expecting that, honestly. Any plot of land anywhere? No? Okay, cool. Could be harder to move than I thought. Okay, no one lives in the Hampton here. Uh, and honestly, wouldn't be that bad. I, this is $1,500 for a 20 by 15. Which I could probably make do really well and then 2000 you got 2000 i mean honestly it's that's 500 bucks more to put towards a property i would say that we do that so we'll just pick one of these it's going to be very empty around us but maybe other people can move in you never know maybe we can also start up another challenge where we uh, build a city and we can just build all the other houses around actually it doesn't look that bad i don't know why they made it seem so empty before when it's really not that fucking empty that is it Oh, we are going to have the world's smallest home. But then again, I guess well, that's a perfect place to start with. You know what I mean? If we only have 18,500 simoleons, we're not really looking like we have too much money here. So to start this off, we obviously need a place to live. Uh, and we need this to be basic as fuck. Um, like super basic. I really wish I could move this away from the 
walkway right there. I really don't like that. And we really don't have much room to work with. The backyard, non-existent. Uh, there's going to be like no front because I want to make sure we have livable furniture inside. So let's just see how much. That's a $660 wall right there. Okay, so even if we fuck up, let's just see how big of a how big of a house it would be if we were to just make it one big square. We're already down to 15,000 even though I could probably, you know, delete these, which is clearly 60 simoleons. Oh god, this is going to be horrendous. So we definitely have to do everything in our power to make this as small as possible to leave us as much money as possible. So off top, I want to I want to have like room Probably, actually, I would probably want it away. Yeah, I want it to face this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut into, I guess you could say here. We're going to make a big L shape. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and delete all of that. All of that. And that. So that leaves us with like some type of front yard. Who the fuck? Oh, that's that other house next door. I see. Okay. And that leaves us with 15,500. We still have to do inside walls as well, too. And kind of figure out what we're going to do there. I think a really cool thing would be a bedroom possibly here. I don't know if I want it to be that. I don't know if it can be that big, honestly. So, like, we put a bedroom here. And that kind of sec uh, sections off the rest of the house, I think, appropriately to some degree. What we can also do is have some, like, weird bathroom type thing that comes out like here that way it's accessible from his master bedroom i mean it's a one it's a one person house so it doesn't matter if there's two entrances into the bathroom if he's here by himself uh we're already down to fourteen thousand five hundred forty dollars and, and furniture is pretty damn expensive in this game so i just hope everything looks normal and it doesn't look horrible so this is where you would be where you would enter the home so we've got to make a walkway we're going to have to move the mailbox. We'll just make the walkway straight up from here. And this is where you enter the home. This is like the uh, walkway area. And then you could probably have the living room here. And then the kitchen could be over here. I just really don't know how I'm going to section. Maybe it doesn't need to be sectioned off. Maybe it could just be like one little wall, which kind of does it on its own. You know what I mean? Theoretically speaking. I could put those up and you see what I'm saying it, it it blocks it off enough to where you're like oh, okay cool like I could even put one yeah it has to be that direction because if not it's gonna be super weird so let's see here all right I'm, I'm feeling confident about this I am it's small it's a lot smaller than what I would normally do but I think we're gonna be able to make do with it so this leaves like the living room area which I assume could be the living room area I could probably even make the living room area bigger by doing this and deleting that. I don't know if you guys saw, but we really don't need the entryway to be that big. Um, I really don't even know. We could probably even have... Ooh, that could work. We could probably even put another wall there. We're already down to 14,000. And this is just the walls. Oh, my lord. Okay, let's let's put the walls up really quick. Let's Let's look at our shell of a house. Okay, we've got to see how much fucking... No, I don't want to leave. I want to see how much furniture actually is, like uh, kitchen supplies, all that stuff. So let's see. We, we need the basics. And we got to see how it's going to fit. Uh, 375. That's not bad at all. Okay, yeah, our fridge is going to suck. A lot. But it's going to be something. Okay, so we for sure need some counters as well, too. I think we're, we're going to have to make it probably look a lot older. These are all so expensive. It's not even funny. Blando. We might have to just go with the Blando company, honestly. Because I got to do something like that so that way we can have a sink and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Like, it can, we can't just not have a sink. Yeah, I say something like that. I still don't know what this room is going to be. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm not sure what I have done here. I mean, I could make this a hallway. 
and just make this whole thing the living room. It would be super skinny, though. I don't think it would look good. I don't think it would look good at all. Okay, let's just focus on the major stuff, which is like a bed and all that stuff. 430 bucks. I don't know if I want a single bed. Jeez, these are expensive. Double futon. Honestly, 290 bucks. That's not bad. It's everything else is going to be in the thousands. Even though that would be a really good night's sleep. That just wouldn't really work. I could do one of these, but that's no. What was the 290? That's a futon, I think it was. Killer queen bed. That's, that's fucking... That's not bad. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves a nice looking bed for dumbass cheap. Hopefully it provides good comfort to him. If not, that's going to be sort of fucked up. We're going to have to do somewhat matching wood here. How much were those? 145 for nightstands? My bed is legitimately almost as expensive as that. Okay, so I'm going to put the walls up really quick. And you already know we got to have it. Actually, maybe do we even really need a TV in the fucking bedroom because it's probably going to be too expensive. <laughs> How much is this? $410. I guess if we've got to replace stuff, we can replace stuff as well too to make it cheaper. But that, that leaves access to the door here and a door there, which actually wouldn't look too bad, I don't think. And then, you know, if he wants a TV, which he could still do a TV, no problem. It'll just have to be one of the uh, cheaper ones. Why, why did the none of, why? Why is that even a thing? Actually, if he wants a TV, we could just do a $500 TV. Because those are going to get, oh God, I didn't even, oh my gosh. Yeah, you know what, man? You're going to have to deal with a $500 television. This is going to look like a fucking crack den. That's, that's, <laughs> that's pretty much the only way to put it at this point. Oh, like if he wants, like he can treat himself to his, like his living room. But something has to suffer here. That's pretty much what I'm feeling. Something's going to have to suffer. So now let's move to the toilet. We're going to need something that's 365 250 That's That $250 toilet sounds really good right about now. Okay, I don't know where I want to do this. Let's see about a shower. How cheap can we get this? It's a shower tarp. So 335 for that and... 375 for a modern shower. I'm just going to get the modern shower because at this point. Okay, and we need a sink for the bathroom. 120. That's not bad. That's so cheap and it looks so damn good. Okay. All right, $11,055. And we have a full room left to do. Possibly some more walls. I'm not entirely sure. But I'd say that's pretty good. We have, you know, windows and stuff that we got to make sure we add lights. Uh, so that way he can see what he's doing inside the home. Um, let's see here. What kind of lights would probably give the most light and also be the cheapest? That's probably a little too much, huh? I should probably just do ones that hang from the ceiling. And the only reason why I say that is because that's probably going to give me the most light. We had to do it from above. 85 bucks for those? That's not bad at all. Yeah, there we go. Hallway's going to be a little dark, but that saves us a decent amount of money on having to light up all of the house when I'd say that's pretty damn good. Oh, that's what that could be. I totally forgot. A dining room table area. That could be a full-fledged house. It's going to work, damn it. Let's see what we got. Let's worry about the couch, actually. We need a living room. 235 is not bad. 215, 215, 290. We have a lot of room to work with. Huh. This would probably be the best for this house. I just don't know where I would want to put it. You know what we're going to have to do is we're probably going to have to extend this wall a little to make the living room 
feel isolated, if that makes any sense. Oh yeah, there we go. Now it's like equaled out instead of just like tucked and shoved in the corner. I mean, that's a fairly small gap, but I mean, it's still enough for a sim to walk through. Is that square? And that works for me. So this could be the living room. Uh, $10,205 left out of uh, $20,000, which is uh, quite depressing if you ask me. All right, let's look at a TV. We're probably going to need to... I'm going to do that last. Let's do all shit like that, except for the little shitty ass you know, thing we got for the bedroom there. How much? Okay, 385. I might have to do something small because I really don't want to spend a whole bunch of money on a fucking table. Uh. Yeah, honestly, if he's just eating by himself, I think something smaller would probably be better. Cheaper. That's $225 for just that right there. So that was pretty fucking crazy as it is. And I think two chairs is more than acceptable. And honestly, I like the way it opens up. You know what I mean? You have the living room, which leads to the kitchen, which leads to an opened up dining room table. Or, or dining room area, which probably could be moved over a tea bit to feel a little more symmetrical and comfortable. And then you have the closed off living room, which really isn't a living room yet. We also have to add wallpaper. But I'd say if I could just be left over with as much money as I can and still have a fully functional home for him to not want to, you know, kill himself in, we'd, we'll be good. I definitely think we'll be good. So let's see. Is there anything else that we're missing? Like I need a trash can. 60 bucks for a trash can. Okay, so I did this as well, too, because we're going to need to make it. We need a little more counter space. So I moved the fridge in the middle. And I probably even might... I don't know. That might be good. That's like just enough. But I feel... Let me see what it looks like with one more. These are pretty expensive. 100 bucks for a fucking counter. Okay, I'm gonna have to activate sheets later just so I can move things a little closer so it looks a little better and, you know, fine-tune everything. But nonetheless, uh, I would say it's good. Just I don't want my OCD to kick up. So we're just going to turn that the right direction. And then I did this so that way I could add a microwave. Because you already know this guy's going to need it. Why are these so expensive? Are you fucking serious, dude? This is the world's shittiest microwave. It's 400 bucks. Nine thousand two hundred ninety. You're killing me, game. You're killing me. Then again, I've... Literally just built the whole house for less than $10,000. So that's not, or a little more than $10,000. That's not fucking bad at all in any way, shape, or form. And we got lights. I mean, there's no decorations. There's no wallpaper or anything, but it's working. Okay, so I have my necessities, I want to say. I want to just go through everything and see if I have all my necessities. I think it would be help if I had some type of, like, office or something. But I really don't want to get too crazy because I think it... Computers are expensive. Exactly. I could have a tablet. That's still a that's still a lot of money. Alright. I think we're gonna go move to the living room now. We're gonna see if we could get this. Because we got some wiggle room. We got nine thousand dollars. Not like I want to blow it all on that, but that's three thousand dollars. How much is this? It probably goes up more. Twenty five. Oh, they're the same exact price. How much does that leave us with? 6,695. Man, he better enjoy this TV. And he needs a coffee table. Seventy bucks for a mega coffee table? Hell yeah, dude. I'm not seeing any dark gray. That's good enough. 6,625. We have ourselves a pretty much full functioning house right now. Except for doors. Totally forgot about that. Holy shit. That and windows. We're going to definitely need some windows. So we need a front door. What is this? You could... Oh, it lets light in. Nice. How much is it though? I've never looked at like prices for things. <laughs> There's nothing I've, I've ever done in this game. Honestly, we could get a pretty damn fucking cheap door. 
Yeah, that's not bad at all. Now we're going to need some inside doors so we can actually traverse the house. I need one there. One there. I don't even think we really need one for the bad. It's a, it's a fucking one bedroom apartment. So, or one bedroom house. So I really don't think you need two bedrooms. That's also 60 bucks a door. I guess it will save them some time though, without having to wrap around the whole house 18 times. The color mix that we're using right now is just fucking horrendous, but hopefully that could be fixed up over time once we actually make some money. But we're going to have to find a job, which is always going to be really, really interesting. I'm trying to find like an end table here, put next to the couch. I guess we really don't have room. We don't even really have money. If I could save this 6,000. And, you know, just be chilling with my necessities. And we're good. You know, put some wallpaper on so it doesn't look so fucking depressing. 88 bucks. Purple always looks good. And we got to get some flooring. Oh, that's expensive. Hardwoods are very expensive. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We got to do what we got to do. We got to make it look decent. Okay, so I've added carpet in the living room and bedroom. And then hardwood floor elsewhere. We got the bathroom all set up. I'd say this is functional. I'm going to take the guy. We're just going to plop him down in this bitch. He's already here, I think. What's your name again? Kaysen. Come on, Kaysen. Go in the fucking house and see what's going on with this bitch. I really hope I could find a good job. You know what I mean? I don't want to find... I, I, I just... I've never really... I think I did one thing when it came to, like, the police mod that they had for this game. Very limited, let me tell you. Um, but nonetheless, it still was interesting. Maybe we could do that. I don't know how much it makes. I just need to see. I got to figure out. I got to actually find a job. I would rather it be interactive so that way this will dis disappear for however long and we don't get to see anything because that won't be much. So he's interacting with the house. It looks like everything's going good for the most part right off the top. So one thing I do need to do is a roof. Because the uh, house is really not complete without a roof. I wonder how much this is going to cost as well too. Or does roofs not really cost much? Because it's not taking any money at all. Yeah, I'm not seeing any money go down. Our roofs are like free. What the fuck is this? That's crazy. So I got to spend money on everything else but the fucking roof. Okay, so the outside's looking good. Let me go ahead and get some very cheap windows added. 30 bucks on the windows. God damn. The cheapest thing that we've <laughs> messed with all day today. Now let's just see where a good place is for us to actually put them. I think I'm going to I'd rather do it from the inside. That way you can actually... I'm not liking how you line them up, dude. That's horrible. We'll get one near the window. In the living room. Kitchen. That's, that's more of the dining room, not the kitchen. Kitchen would be here. Hallway. There we go. Now we have natural light. Mixed in with all the artificial lights, so we're good. So let's get these painted, since for some reason it does not like to get the little walls. Okay, so it looks like the cheat does not work with windows, for whatever reason, which is a little unfortunate, because... Uh, now I just feel like we're stuck with odd-placed windows, unless we were to... Add, like, two of them. Which I guess would be possible. They're really cheap, so the only way to, like, equal it out is to just add two of them. I feel like those are really high windows, but in the end of the day, window is a window. And at least it's letting that natural light in, which would be cool if we put one on each side on here. Just because we really don't have many options, I just don't want it to look weird. I just, th those don't look good. <laughs> those aren't positioned in a good spot. These ones will probably be a little better. Yeah, there we go. Those just seem high as hell, though. Okay, those are a little better. I think the rest of them, where they're positioned on a higher plane, is probably where they have to be. Because I think it would be just too tall here. Actually, maybe not. 
In the kitchen, they're going to have to be a little higher because of all the uh, appliances and shit. Actually, maybe not. There we go. Now they're all on the same level and it looks decent. I'm not really liking the front door area. I say since we have uh, little windows in the door, we just say screw that. Let's find us some wallpaper for the outside. This is paint, so... Is there like exterior paint? I feel like this is going to get expensive really quick trying to do some crazy shit for the outside. So it's probably just best to do a basic ass color. Those are absolutely horrific. Don't they have like nice grays? You know what I mean? Like why why are all these weird ass colors? Yeah, something's better than drywall on the outside, that's for sure. I mean it's basic, but it works, damn it. That's a full fledged house if you ask me. Holy shit. And we have $5,260 left over. And this thing is fully functional. Let's go ahead and see if we can look at the phone here. I want to see what jobs are available. Find a job. He's cut his finger. He clearly is going to have the best life here in this new home of his. Let's see. Sims, that is... Uh, I need a job. So can we quit with the whole... Okay. So, actor... Detective, a doctor, that looks very interesting. Scientist, astronaut. I wonder if these are like all the, oh, and a criminal, there it is. Not every sim wants to play by the rules. You can make ton of civilians by, and have fun too as an outlaw. Career, branches, boss, and oracle. Now hiring tough guy. $9 an hour to be a tough guy. And we're working Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, pretty much all week. That's great. This day we have one day off. This is uh, a critic, culinary, education, engineer, entertainer, law, which is like a lawyer, military. This is fucking... I've never looked a secret agent. 17 an hour? Hell yeah, we don't work on the weekend. I don't know. That's seeming uh, very good right now. A stylist ins influencer? A tech guru, 31 an hour, 33 an hour for a babysitter, barista's 28, a dr uh, oh, I thought it said driver, I was like, what the fuck, a diver, 45 an hour, fast food for 16, 33 for fishermen, 45 for manual labor. Honestly, if we want to get our life together, we should just go for a tough job. We only work on the weekend. And we're only a lawnmower? <laughs> what? <laughs> that that de-escalated very quickly. What the fuck? Like, okay, there was one that was sounded really good, and it was expensive as fuck. Or we get paid hella money. Military. The military sounded pretty cool. Freelancer, which is self-employed. That's also pretty cool. Doesn't say a price though, so that's a little concerning. 23, 24, 22. I might just do... I don't want to do anything for 9, though, because I feel like we're just going to... We can make so much more money if we do something else. Like, 20 an hour, that's not bad. But we've done the detective job, I think. Okay, this support technician seems cool with computers and gadgets, a computer engineer and mechanical engineer, support technician. We have Monday through Friday work, 9 a.m. to 5, 24 an hour. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. It could just be um, work assignment, right? Product report. Should Hanson, should Kaysen get a jump start and accept assignment? Yes, of course. We want to excel, but he's too busy cutting himself. He starts Monday at 9 a.m. And it's Sunday at 6.15 in the morning. So he's got a full day before he goes and starts work. But at least we got that. It's uh, 24 an hour. If we really don't like it, we can always... How do I write a product report? I 
I feel like I'm going to need a fucking computer for this. This isn't good. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to need a computer. Shit. Why does everything have to be so difficult in this game? I just don't understand, man. I really don't. Let's just get it really quick. Get ourselves a nice little desk. Fucking $300 desk. And we're going to get a computer. I think a laptop would be perfect. I put that on the wrong thing. Oh, that just took a lot of money. I guess he needs to be comfortable, though, if he's going to work. Career. Here we go. Engineer. Optimize equipment design. Write product report. So you've legitimately got to make sure you do something. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to be... This is going to be interesting, I'll tell you that. All we got to do is write the product report. Is he really going to not eat to go do the product report really quick? That's some determination. He put that shit on pause. I don't know why it's even counting it as he's actually eating right now. What the fuck is going on? That is going to take forever. It is slowly moving. But nonetheless, we're on the path. Uh, Kaysen is on the path to rags to riches uh, right now. It's honestly not even that rags to riches. I don't know if I was supposed to start with less, but I started with the uh, standard amount of money, but I would say this is a pretty bleak life compared to what we're living with the White family who has like a seven bedroom home with a movie theater and also two businesses, even though they're losing thousands of dollars each day. But I'd say we should be able to get this pretty well. It looks like things are going to be pretty easy with this. We got a job. It's 31 or 20, 24 an hour. Hopefully we can either get promoted to something bigger or just quit it and restart. But then again, that's going to be a lot of progress loss. So we might have just wanted to go with something more expensive, but we're going to have to see how it goes. Nonetheless, thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of The Sims 4, and we will see you next episode. Hey.